Hello and welcome to the fourth installment of my Skyrim Road to Max Perks Challenge. Let's play challenge. Uh, today we're starting off, we're going right to the College of Winterhold to try and unlock, I think Tolfdeer is the is the magician who sells telekinesis books. And I'm going to get that. Well, apparently not. But I want that so I can fix my alteration problem. He didn't have any though. So I went to this location where supposedly you, you can find one in this chest. There's a spooky sleepy dragon. Woke him up and it wasn't in the chest. So that was... Kind of a letdown, but I didn't expect it to find it in the first place. I was feeling a little bit lucky, so I went to Uttering Hills Cave, where also apparently you can find it here. It, w it was also not here. I didn't check any more places. I could not be bothered. So instead, I figured I'd just get 40 alterations so he'd sell me the book. Uh, what, so what I'm doing here is I prop uh, Secret of Rancana, which gives me unlimited magic up for 30 seconds, and I just keep spamming, I think, Stone Flesh. And that gets me to 40. So now Tulsa should sell it. All I have to do is go to him in Sarthal now and you'll have it. But we don't do that. We go and we go sell stuff. Because I have a pretty big need for money. Expanding my house now. I think this is the armory. Yeah, we're building the armory just there. And then selling more stuff. And then, so this is pretty interesting. I got attacked by these guys outside my Falkreath house when I went to go harvest their stuff. Their the stuff there. And, uh, so I, ch I check out this guy here, and I was hired to be killed by Bandit Marauder. It's my new nemesis. So we've got a new run here for, for buying and selling stuff. I cut out Riverwood, and instead I added in the, um, what do you call it, the, the Court Mage from Riften. And then so and then that's the only change, so it's, you know, White Run to Riften to Markarth. And so that's a perfect four-day run. I can go directly from Markarth to Falkreath and get my, my ingredients, so that's very nice. And I'm doing that to get soul gems so I can level up my alchemy. Um, oh my gosh. Apparently I already did blacksmithing somewhere off screen. Um, oh my gosh, I'm far behind. Okay, so the ingredients you need right now is, oh my gosh, hold on, whoa. <laughs> okay, the ingredients I'm using are the Cyrodiilic sp Spade Tail and Salt Pile to make potions of restoration. I'm using blue butterfly wing and snow berries for potions of enchanting. Okay. So potions of restoration have this weird effect where they make enchantments stronger. So if you drink a potion of restoration while wearing uh, Fortify Alchemy equipment, it makes the Fortify Alchemy enchantment better. So you can both make better restoration potions or Fortify enchanting potions. So you can make continually better and better looping gear until you eventually break the game. So uh, what we're doing is we're just grabbing a ring, a necklace, a hat of some sort, and a glove. And that, because that's the four different things that can hold the alchemy enchantment. You drink your enchantment potion, and you enchant your new item. There are four new items. Eventually, though, you get to a point where things get really crazy. And, uh, yeah. This is the fifth time in the cycle going through just with new, new alchemy gear, photo, potion of restoration, uh, better enchantment potion this is the fifth time in the cycle where you get numbers like that but that is under the effect of the restoration potion so the actual enchantment is not going to be quite that powerful still that's pretty insane so uh we're gonna go run off equip our crazy new set of, of stuff we're gonna go for a sixth run make our new restoration potion and uh they crash the game and I hadn't saved in a bit. So, you know, here we are. Fifth round again. I've learned my lesson this time, though. And we're not gonna... We're gonna wait until the restoration potion... Oh, I'm, I'm renaming the stuff here. Because this is gonna be the set uh, that, that I use to level up like crazy. So, uh, that way I can more easily identify it in a, ch in a chest inventory or my own inventory. So, you've got Alchemist Hands, Hat, Necklace, and Ring. So, you can equip all this... I should check to make sure... What am I... What? What are we doing? Oh, we quick save to make sure we don't crash. Okay, duh. I think... Are we just assuming that the effect... No, we're, check we're checking to make sure the restoration potion isn't still active. It's not. So now... If we make... Oh, actually, we still have, I still haven't rest uh, legendaried my, uh, my alchemy yet. Look at that! Look at that potion, though! <laughs> yeah... So, what do we? Oh, oh, and I want to put away that stuff too. So all I have is the relevant ingredients. 
for paralysis potions to level up. So we've got to go over to alchemy. We're going to reset it back to level one. And we're going to see how many levels we get out of just one potion. We get 100, you get 100 levels out of one potion. So I'm obviously not going to do that. <laughs> we load back to that quick save I just had, and we opt into the next step down, which is insanely less powerful than the final tier one. Look, look at the difference! That's an insane difference! So, whatever, this is fine. The end result here is still really powerful. You can fully reset a skill in like 50, 60-ish potions, which is a really small number. But I'm kind of okay with that. I think that's I think that's a reasonably small number. So I didn't reset it yet again. <laughs> okay, so in literally 15 minutes, I went from level 75 to level 108, using up those uh, alchemical ingredients that I'd saved up and took a couple hours to get ish. Um, that's that very good. So I'm just uh, allocating the perks I have to everything that I can because I. You know, don't have that many actual levels on things. So, I think I end up with like three unassigned perks at the end of this. Pretty crazy stuff. So, not that much longer until I'm done here. There, there are not going to be that many installments into the series if I'm at level 108 and getting experience that insanely fast. Which is very good. I, I didn't want this to be a unnecessarily long series. So, uh, thank you very much for, for stopping in and watching. Please... You don't, you don't have to like the video, okay? You don't have to comment on my video. But please, if you did like it, come by and watch the other ones. You don't even have to subscribe. You don't have to do anything, but it would be good if you came in and, you know, watched other videos of mine. Don't subscribe. Don't like my videos. Dislike my videos. But come watch them anyway. It'll mean a lot to me. Because I really, really thrive off of attention from strangers. Have yourself a great day guys and take care.